Hi, so I'm going to go through part I of question one on Mac 2015 and it asks us how many regions the plane is split up in when we graph these three functions and we're not considering the x and y axes here. Is it 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10? So the easiest way to do this would be to just draw the graphs. So I'm going to draw the axes just so I can draw the graphs more easily. But we don't need to consider these when we are counting our regions. So x cubed would just be something like this. So that's x cubed. Now let's say 1 and minus 1 are here and here. So now if we draw x to the 4, now it's going to be something like this. And on the right hand side, now when x is less than 1, um, raising it to a higher power will make the number smaller, so x to the 4 will be below x cubed, but at 1 they are equal, they're both equal to 1, and then after 1 x to the 4 will be steeper than x cubed, so that's x to the 4. So for x to the 5, then between 0 and 1, x to the 5 is going to be smaller than either of the other two, and at 1 they're all equal, they're all equal to 1, then afterwards, x to the 5 will grow steeper than either of the other two. And similarly, for the negative x, x to the 5 will be <coughs> less steep than x cubed when it's uh, bigger than minus 1. And then minus 1, x cubed and x to the 5 will both be equal to minus 1. Then it will be steeper than x cubed afterwards. So now if we count up our regions, so overall we have this bit that's on the right hand side of everything. Then we have another region over here. So that's one, that's two. We have one that's round here, that's three. We have this little bit here that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our answer is D.